Yeah, hi there. This is Michael. And in this video, I'm going to show you my race, the Fontana Half Marathon. And first of all, I want to take a look at my splits. And maybe if you're thinking of running Fontana in the future or you're running a downhill half marathon or marathon, for example, the St. George Marathon, there's probably a few things that you should think about before you actually race it. So first of all, my best advice is don't do it. If you do do it, here's some things to think about. First of all, if you take a look at at this my split time, we go with the first mile and my mile split was 532. And then we go to my next split which is um, 535. And then we go to 533. The 4 mile was 529, 5 mile was 521. The six miles of 529 mile split, seven miles 525 looks good so far, right? Mile eight's 532, mile nine is 533. Now remember that with Fontana, once you get past really about seven miles, you're not downhill that much anymore. It's like a slightly downhill grade, but overall, this particular race it drops 2,200 feet in elevation, so you should know that. Now, at the 10 mile mark, I really started to have some problems. You can see that my mile split slowed down to 548. The 11 mile, this is embarrassing to admit, but I actually did run a 618. Mile 12, I ran a seven minute mile pace. And then mile 13, you can see how much I really, really struggled. I ran a 755, and the, and the worst thing here, it took me one minute and 11 seconds to go uh, 0.1 miles. So you're probably looking at this and saying, well, what went wrong? And I'm going to be honest with you is the I gambled with this particular race and I lost the gamble. So my gamble was to take the first, first eight or nine miles, which were downhill, and to try to run those as fast as I could but I did control my pace a little bit now remember my 5k pace is right around 16 flat so I can run this kind of pace at least for a, a shorter distance fairly comfortably now to put them all together like this in a 9 or 10 mile kind of distance is more challenging for me and remember also I'm 44 years of age so what happened Here's what I think I've learned from this, and hopefully uh, you won't make the same mistake that I made. But first of all, with a downhill race, you should probably run slower than what you think you should. So I thought that 530 pace was okay. That put me on track for a 112. However, my most recent half marathon on a legitimate flat rolling hill course is 117 so that's probably my biggest mistake was I tried to run a pace that was faster than what I was actually capable of but the downhill actually allowed me to run this pace the problem is is once I got to the 10 mile and I got from the 10 mile to the 13 mile the course actually it it flattened out and it wasn't downhill as much anymore so actually as it got more flat I had to make the transition from the downhill to the um, to the actual flat and my quads were completely fried from the first nine miles of this race I mean they were fried and when I needed to make the transition to run on the flat uh, frankly my muscles quit working now combine that with my age I'm 44, I'm a little bit overweight, I'm about 10 pounds overweight, which also doesn't help. And combine it also with the temperature, it was about 76, almost 80 degrees at the end of the race, very, very bright sun, and we're running on pavement, which didn't help things. And I think what happened to me is, I fried my quads on the downhill, uh, it was hot, and I had difficulties when I got to the flat and I got slower and slower and slower and frankly 
I almost dropped out. It's actually a miracle that I didn't drop out. I have no idea how I didn't drop out of this race, but some of my friends you'll see in the video, they caught up with me at about the 10 mile mark and they kind of helped pull me through to the end. But you'll see when I get to the finish, I actually collapse. It's pretty ugly. And I have to, the ambulance emergency people come over and put me on a, a stretcher and they put me in the ambulance and they're giving me oxygen and all those kinds of things. So. Uh, what went wrong went wrong and I'm telling you it goes wrong really quickly so your proper planning I also got to tell you you're probably wondering well did you hydrate enough Michael and the answer is yes I hydrated before the race and I took water at every two miles where they had the water stations and I put water on my head and my friends at mile 10 were dumping water on my head to try to help me cool off but all of that didn't work so hopefully if you run a half marathon or a marathon that's a downhill course, you might learn from my pain, trust me. Maybe you can learn from some of my mistakes and, and maybe in the beginning, the first few miles of the race, don't exceed uh, really what you're capable of doing. And remember that you're going to pay for this later on in the race, big time, I promise you. Uh, and a lot of people suffered uh, at the Fontana Half Marathon today probably because they did not properly plan uh, their race. Michael. 